bad part. Well, it's time to make those summer plans, and if they involve summer camps, then you have your work cut out for you. Last week, we talked about choosing a day camp, and in just a moment, we'll get some advice on choosing a sleepaway camp. But first, John Thomas shows us why the decision can be so tough. Is anyone really ready? It just seems like there's so much to think about. First, how about the anxiety of separation? And the anxiety of your child just trying to fit in. Uh, this seat's taken. Then, of course, there's the line between not enough supervision. You guys aren't supposed to be out of your bunks. You're in trouble. And too much. You are the lowest form of life on earth. And how about things for your child to do? So this year, each camper will stalk and kill his own bear. And is the camp the right fit for your child and you? That is why our season runs to Vic Salonga. She'd be gone for eight weeks? And how about the cost? Is it reasonable if, say, the Jonas Brothers are there? Gather around, guys. It's time to start listening. Or is that just terrifying? And speaking of terrifying, how about the counselors? Listen to me, listen to me. My heart's racing. Two camp counselors, there is Jason. I've got kids and I've got a wife. He's got a hockey mask and he's got a knife. I'll put out the fire. I did it already. What? Do something. Or does it all just scream out? It just doesn't matter! 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 Just doesn't matter. <laughs> John Thomas had a little fun with that camp story it there. Like it. Parenting Magazine editor Angela Ardolino is here now with some advice about sleepaway camps. That's a big deal to send your kids away to a sleepaway camp. For parents who may be on the fence about choosing this type of camp, What's the benefit to sending your kids away? Oh, there's so many benefits, and I understand it's scary for parents to do. But I, I know some parents who have sent their 8- and 9-year-olds to sleep, sleepaway camps, and a lot of times the sleepaway camps, camps won't even let you have communication with your child except through email or writing letters, and that really is terrifying. But the reason they do that is because there's going to be a week where they ha need to adjust and feel comfortable and, and get over their home being homesick. And then once they get past that, they're really going to have the time of their life. They're going to meet new kids. They're going to be forced to be self-reliant. They're going to have to dress themselves, take a shower, make sure they're there at lunchtime, dinner time to feed themselves. And it really teaches them to be more um, self-reliant and responsible for themselves. So it's a wonderful experience. Not only that, the kids that they meet. You understand these sleepaway camps get kids from all over the globe. So they're, you know bunking with someone from Africa, Australia, and what an amazing way to learn about other cultural cultures and make friends all over the country. Okay, now, of course, this is, can be a new experience for both parents and kids, nerve-wracking for both. Right. So how do you get prepared? I mean, how does a parent prepare themselves, and then how do you get your kid ready? Well, a parent needs to understand if they're having anxiety about it to really be able to control that anxiety and to encourage them and to tell them what to expect, even though they probably won't ever expect what they're going to experience because they've been taken care of by mom even if they are pretty self-reliant at home and they make their own beds and take care of themselves not having that parent there to remind them and for them to have to take responsibility for it it's there's nothing better their kids gonna come back from sleepaway camp a whole new yeah. kid the reminders won't have to happen as often it'll be a lot of fun now you mentioned parents sending kids off as young as eight and nine years old but what's really age appropriate when it comes to sleepaway camps? I feel middle schools a really good time I think um, go, when they're about to go into middle school or like age 13, 14 is a great time for them to experience different kids that they're not used to, other 13 and 14 year old kids who are going through the same type of thing and seeing how they deal with that being away from home. And then they kind of come together and work as a team and, and they establish relationships that will last their entire lifetime. Yeah, and it can certainly be fun and they'll have memories that last a lifetime Absolutely. as well. And wonderful photos. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. And always great advice. And if Thank you missed you. any of Angela's advice and you want to share it with another parent, just go to abcactionnews.com. And you can also find a variety of parenting issues on Angela's website. That's Tampa Bay Parenting website, tvparenting.com.